Hey butterflies, it's your girl Cam and today we're going to talk about your stimulus check. <laughs> it's been on everybody's mind. So I wanted to give you some thoughts. Of course, I can't tell you what to do with your stimulus check, but I can give you some, you know, some things to kind of think about as you are, you know, receiving your check right now. Um I would say they should be out by the end of April. I've heard as early as April 8th, I've heard the 15th, and then I've heard three weeks from when they signed it. Now, I do know that the a Wednesday is usually when they have been making deposits this particular year for direct deposits. Um, so, that is the 8th. And that also is the 15th. So, but, you know, we should be getting them soon. They're going by your 2019 taxes. And if you have bank information for direct deposit already on file, then you, of course, will get your money quicker. So some of the things that have come up, I was listening to Dave Ramsey and when he said, hold off <laughs> on debt, I was like, okay, this might be a little bit more than what we think. We're currently on lockdown. We'll be on lockdown until the 12th or 13th of April in my state of Georgia. And so some of the things that I thought about was to hold on to the money and put it in an emergency fund or in your sinking funds. Um, I've also thought about going ahead and if I, my emergency fund, not my um, EF3, but my EF1 is full and more so than full, if that makes sense. So I save more than the thousand dollars. That's what makes me feel comfortable. You have to do what makes you feel comfortable. And, you know, I, either way, I totally understand and respect your, your views. Um, but I have additional money in the bank other than the thousand. And so I could go ahead and put that over, I'll get 1700. So I could put that 1700 over in my emergency fund. I wanted to offer you some suggestions on things that you could do. Um, and it doesn't have to be all or nothing. It could be a combination of these things. Um, but some, some reminders as you um, are getting this money in. Now you have your final decision. These are just suggestions. But you could put all of it in, you know, um, your emergency fund and just wait it out. Hold off on any um, debt payments other than your minimum payments. Please pay your minimums. If you are able to, if not, please reach out to the lenders. A lot of lenders are really um, working with their um, the people that you know they have credit with, um, and so just be mindful of that. I don't want you to sit there and think that there's no help because there is help. Um, so be mindful of that. So if you need to reach out to your creditors, go ahead and do that. But if you can pay your bills, go ahead and pay your bills. Keep in mind that some of the stays in some of the states are about two weeks. So what I did was I made sure we had enough food in the refrigerator, the freezer, and the deep freezer for the four and a half of us because we got to count Dre. Um, he's got baby food and formula and stuff and diapers and stuff. And so made sure that we have extra of that. Um, I buy, remember I told you guys I went to Sam's the other day. There was no toilet paper. There was no paper towels. There was no tabs, like detergent for the washing machine or tabs for the dishwasher. Um, so luckily I buy most of this stuff in bulk anyway. So I have some things and we are not on the verge of running out. I honestly just needed that little extra cushion, but we don't have it. And I'm going to have to be okay with it. Um, now, in a minute, 
this is not over. I'm going to have to start issuing out toilet paper squares, maybe for the person. But we'll see. Hopefully, this will blow over and, and we won't have to go that far. Um, but I'm going to encourage you guys to buy enough food to limit your time into the grocery stores. Um, so that's number one. Uh, make sure that you have your prescriptions. You know, if you can get a 90-day one, get a 90-day one. Try not to go into the stores. If they have a drive through go through the drive through um, If you do pay on your debt, be mindful that this stimulus check is to help you stay afloat. To hopefully we move out of this. I don't even know what you call it at this point. This downfall. Um, I personally would love to send that $1,700 to um, my vehicle payment and just add it directly to principal. My job, as I know it, as of today, is not in jeopardy, and I'm not going to do that. I am going to set it over to the side, and when this blows over, we start to get back to normal. I'll send that money directly as a principal payment. Um, so you guys have to sit and look what you can do for yourselves. Um, the other thing is, you know, I'm, I'm not opposed if it doesn't put anybody in harm. If you guys don't have like a lot of board games or something, and if Amazon, and Amazon still, I mean, they're still delivering. They're not doing as much of the two-day, but they are delivering. I don't suggest you go into the stores, but if they put it on your front porch versus, you know what I'm saying? Versus having to come in and play the game with you. Um, order some games or something. They don't go overboard. And some of that stuff, honestly, might be hyped up, so might be disregarded. But I'm just saying... Um, Find some creative things that you guys can do. Look on Pinterest um, that you guys can be able to build families and uh, enjoy yourselves. There are some of you guys out there that are um, don't have, you know, another person in the home with you. Good time to start reading. Um, not telling you to go out and do Audible, but... Sometimes, like the libraries, and um, I think Prime actually has um, some books, 99 cent, on their Amazon Kindle that you can actually download to your phone. Um, I know that this is a trying time. It's hard when it's a lot of people in the house because it's chaotic and not everybody in my household is always here at the same time. And now the majority of the time we are all here. Um, so that can be chaotic, but that silence can also be chaotic. So I, I want you to understand that I hear you and I feel you. Um, but do FaceTime with your friends and check on your elderly parents and aunts and uncles. And, you know, um, if you're going to order out food, keep in mind that these people that are cooking the food could be sick. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny or scare anybody, but the bottom line is we don't know what this looks like. So cook at home as much as you can. Um, have I gone to restaurants? Yes. Thank God I haven't gotten sick, but, um, and I, I you know, I, I know that the, the restaurants and stuff, they're doing the to go and if they see anybody that is remotely sick or anything like that, you know, they're being asked to not come home. So I don't want to uproar everybody with that, but I'm just saying, be mindful. You can cook at home, cook at home. If you need to eat out, eat out, just, you know, be use you know, one of the delivery services or use drive through and as limited contact as possible. Um, I guess that's it. I just, you know, just stay stocked, but not overstocked. Um, I, I think about these folks on stockpile and I honestly, I wish in certain instances I, I had the room. 
um, to be able to stockpile a little bit more than I have. But, you know, buying stuff out of cases at that point has helped me and helped my family. So um, just be mindful. Don't forget the scams. They're out there. And, you know, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Love on one another, even if it's through ah, video chat. Um, catch up on YouTube. Um, subscribe. <laughs> I'll throw that out there. Like the video. But you guys just stay safe. If there's anything that I can answer, please leave it down at the bottom. Um, also, leave me down in the comments what you guys are doing to occupy your time. Uh, if you're able to work at home then, you know, some of that time is, is taken away. But those of you all that may not, or maybe you're a stay-at-home mom or dad, um, tell me what you guys are doing um, to kind of occupy your time on those off-peak hours. All right? So I love you, butterflies. We'll talk to you soon.